York Regional Police are investigating a quadruple shooting that happened in a home here in Woodbridge and investigators do believe it was a targeted attack and while police are not releasing any information on the victims just yet, City News has learned that two young children live here along with their mother, father and grandmother. We heard the shots, it was maybe 10 or so. There was a brief little pause. Another few, maybe five, six shots. Many were just starting their day when the sound of gunfire coming from a nearby home sent them running to safety at the time Lorenzo was walking his little sister to school. We had a neighbor running up the street. He's like, no, this is shots. This is serious. We all got to go inside. I'm told several neighbors sent the kids indoors and hid on their porches while calling police. And as they waited for emergency responders, Lorenzo says they saw a man leave the crime scene. All of a sudden, we have a guy walking down the driveway. He hops in his car. It was a white Kia SUV. He throws a U-turn, comes right along here. We're standing up, stops at the stop sign like it's a normal day, throws his flicker on and he heads up Davos towards Western Road. Police say four people were located inside the home with gunshot wounds. One person was pronounced dead on scene and three others were rushed to hospital. Rohan tells me he saw an older woman and a man being wheeled into waiting ambulances. She was lying down when they were trying to maybe resuscitate her. Uh, the guy he was sitting up in, he wasn't um, lying flat, he was sitting up. Early indications are that this incident is targeted and isolated and that there is no immediate risk to the public. Investigators have not released any information about the ages or genders of the victims or their relationship, but City News has learned a multi-generational family was living here, including children. And while very little is known about the family, this house has been the scene of a crime before. Using a small black jerry can of fuel, Back on Christmas Day, both cars sitting in the driveway were set on fire in what police believe was an act of arson. The suspect fled on the scooter southbound on Casanova Drive. Despite Crime Stoppers profiling the case, an arrest was never made. Any other calls that may have been related to this house or any other incidents in this neighborhood um, will be something that all of our, investi our investigators that are currently working on this will look at. Uh, that will be something that they'll try to piece together to determine what the motive was and why these people were targeted today. This investigation is still very much underway. Uh, the forensic unit remains on scene and uh, officers have uh, spent many hours canvassing the neighborhood, looking for security video as they try to piece together suspect description. On Casanova Drive in Vaughan, Shauna Hunt City News.